Hello and welcome to my second video for Blowfield Beginners. This time it's about the multi-mode. A lot of people asked me if I could do a video about the Blowfield multi-mode because it's explained um, very badly in the official user manual. And I can tell you that the reason for this is actually that um, the multi-mode is not a main feature of the Blowfield, it's rather an additional feature and you should also know that the Blowfield is not really power, um, so powerful that you could um, really use a lot of different complex sounds at once. But I'm going to show you how you can use the multi-mode. Okay. Normally when you start your blowfield, you're in the sound or single patch mode. If you want to switch into the multi mode, you have to press and hold shift and press sound multi, like this. Now as you see, you're in the play mode of your multi mode. Here you can choose different multi modes by using this knob. You see the number here. When you want to change the settings of your multi-mode, you have to jump into the multi-editing menu by pressing the play button. Now you're in the editing mode. Here you can set the volume of your multi-mode and the speed of the clock. And now you can go through all the pages of your multi-settings. On this page you can set the sound which is in the part number one. The parts are the slots where you put in your patches or sound so you could use the words part, sound and patch the same way if you want. So for the part number one, you can select the banks and the sounds and on the next page you have the category filter so that you can easily choose the sound that you want to have in part number one. If you want to set the settings for other parts, you have to press and hold play and use this knob. As you see, you can jump through the parts, part 6, part 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 16. So you have up to 16 parts. And again, use these two knobs to select a sound. And now you have different sounds on different parts. Next page. This is the mixer page. Here you can set for every part the volume and the panorama setting. Again, press and hold the play button to set the settings for different parts. Next page. The MIDI channel of the part. And if you want to activate this part or mute this part. So as you see, You can set the setting, the MIDI channel for every part to MIDI channel number one for instance or for every MIDI channel or what the global setting of your blowfield is. And you can mute the part very quickly on this page. Okay, next page, the tuning. You can set the transpose 
and the detune for every part on this page. This is for part number one. Again, press and hold play to do this for other parts. Next page, the velocity range. So this says what is the lowest velocity possible for your part and the highest velocity possible. So for instance, with this setting for part number one, this is the first line, you can just um, reach velocity above 40 and under 90 or you can set the full range here you see the parts from 1 to 4 here from 5 to 8 9 to 12 and 13 to 16 Next page, the key range. Here you can set the splitting and the layering of the sounds. So you see the lowest key and the highest key for part number one. We can set it like this for instance. Now you can choose the part number two and do this again, this time this way. Now we have something like a splitting of the sounds of the key, um, keyboard range. And we can lay apart number 3 for instance on both sounds by doing this. Okay, next page. The MIDI receive and the USB receive. This says if you're Selected part will receive MIDI in me uh, MIDI messages with this MIDI input, and if it will receive MIDI um, with the USB input. When you set both on ignore, it won't receive any data from here and here. Next page. The local. Well, this is not very important for the Blofeld desktop synthesizer, but um, for the Blofeld keyboard. It says if the selected part, like part number one in this case, um, will receive data from the inbuilt keyboard. So this is just important for the Blofeld keyboard. You can set it to receive and ignore. Okay, next page. The pitch bed and the mod wheel. You can also set independently for every part if the pitch bed is active and if the mod wheel is active. You can for instance deactivate the mod wheel for every part except of part number three and then the usage of the mod wheel will only influence the part or the sound of the patch number three. As you see, you can see all settings on one page and you can set it very quickly. The next page, the aftertouch and the sustain pedal. Again, for every part, And again, receive or ignore. And the last page. Edits. I don't know it exactly, but I think it's about um, MIDI control messages. And of course, the MIDI program changes. Okay. These are the multi-mode settings. If you want to go back to the play mode of your multi mode, you have to press play once. 
press play again to go back to your multi settings. And always remember, if you are here and you are using this knob, you switch between the multi settings and the blowfield will forget all your settings you did. So every editings are gone. So be very careful when you're using uh, the multi mode and switch between the multi uh, settings and the play mode and so on. Okay. But if you want to change the sounds, you can't use this menu because here you can just select a sound. By the way, these are the same sounds as you have in the single sound mode. So if you change a sound in the single sound mode, it will be also changed in your multi program if you use this sound. They are not stored independently. There's just one memory, one set of bangs and sounds in the blowfield. They are not separated. <clears throat> okay, but if you want to change a sound, you have to press one of these buttons. Now you're in the single sound editing mode, but you are still playing the multi mode. Here you can change the settings of the selected part of the selected sound. So here in this case I see the settings for oscillator 2 for the sound in the slot or part number 1. And this trick with the, uh, the play button and the snob works also in the sound editing mode. So I press and hold play, use this knob and I see oscillator 2 for the sound number 2, for the sound number 3 and so on. So that I can change the settings of all 16 sounds, if I have 16, um, very quickly. And um, well, there's just one more important thing. It's about the effects. Remember that the effects do not really belong to the sound. They're not um, chained to the sound, especially in the multi mode. Normally, one single sound has two effects, effect one and effect two. But in the multi mode, you have just five effects for all 16 parts together. Let's see what effect number one does. <clears throat> effect number one can be selected in the part number one. I can choose chorus, for instance. Now I select the part number 2 and I can choose a flanger for this part. Part number 3 gets a phaser and part number 4 has an overdrive. As you see, chorus for part number 1, flanger for part number 2, phaser for part number 3 and overdrive for part, no part number 4. But part number 5 has no effect setting for effect number one. And this is also the case for all other parts up to part 16. So part uh, effect number one is only available in the parts one, two, three and four. Okay, let's see what effect two does. Effect 2 is just available once. You do the settings for effect number 2 in the part number 1. As you see, you have all the, the settings for effect number 2. 
the parts 2 to 16 do not have um, do not have settings for the effect number 2 but they have mix settings so you can mix the audio output of the parts 2 to 16 also into the effect number 2 of part number 1. I know this is quite confusing, but imagine it like there's just one effect processor and as if the parts 1 to 16 would mix would be mixed into this one single effect processor. Actually, it doesn't work like this um, on hardware basis in the blowfield, but um, it's just for explanation. This works like this. So you don't have up to 32 effects, but just 5 effects for 16 parts. But you have the arpeggiator for all parts and you can use this to make very complex rhythms and um, rhythmic um, multi-mode creations um, by using the arpeggiator for different parts and different sounds so use this possibility if you want to change um, multi settings again, press the play button once and twice. Now you can edit your multi program if you want to change the selected sound. You have to use one of these four buttons. If you want to change the multi program, press play once and use this knob okay just one more thing if you want to save your data or store your settings you have to use the shift button and the utility button press and hold the shift button and press utility once now you're in the utility menu. Here you can store your multi settings. This is just what you did in the multi menu. It's not about the sounds. It saves the uh, which sound was on which slot, but not the changes you did in the sounds. As you see, you can change the name of your multi program and the slot where you want to put it in and you can store the arrangement with this um, menu page you will store your multi settings but also all changes you did in the sounds and when you change a sound and press store arrangement the sound will be also changed in your single sound uh, mode you remember the sounds in the multi program are the same sounds you have in the single mode by the way if you want to select one of these pages you have to press and hold shift again and press utility once like this okay but you have more possibilities you can initialize a multi-program so you can build it up from the ground. You can save your multi-program with the MIDI output of your USB. You can dump an arrangement. This means the multi-settings and the sounds. You can save all multi-settings you can just store the sound you, you, um, you have selected 
you can initialize the selected sound in the selected part, put a random sound in there, or save your sound data with a USB output. You can also um, store the sound bank and all sounds, and everything included in the below field. So it's a bit complicated, a bit confusing, because you can edit your multi-program and you can also edit the sounds. I hope that uh, this video helped a little bit to understand how this multi thing works. If you want to go back into the single sound um, mode, again shift and sound multi. Now you have just one sound. Okay, so tell me what you think about it. Leave a comment, make a like or dislike and um, thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.